Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we've got a brand new BMW 218 in for repair. Um, as you can see, they've mangled the bottom of the bumper. Um, there is a bit of paint damage here that we've got to sort out. Uh, we have a brand new stack of parts over there. There's a lot of grills and bits behind this and all sorts going on so we've got to try and remove this bumper uh, sort the bit, little bit of damage out and then put all the new parts in to try and uh, make this look brand new again so um, yeah that's what we're doing for today and I do believe from memory these new BMWs uh, got a gazillion 8mm bolts in them everywhere so we'll get to that uh, hopefully I can replace all the bits that had smashed out all in there uh, and we'll get this looking nice again. Yeah, there's not actually a lot to paint. We've got a bit of a scuff here and a bit of a grazing going on here. I think that's all that's on it. Um, but we'll get it up in here. <coughs> we'll get all this removed and then we can clean this down uh, and see what we actually have got to paint on that. Uh, should be interesting, never done one of these, no clue where to start, but I'm guessing we get the bonnet up, uh, no doubt there's going to be a line of bolts or clips across the top, uh, in the wheel wells on most BMWs loads of 8mm bolts and I'm guessing we've got a gazillion underneath because they love to put loads of bolts in, so let's get it up in the air and get cracking, see you in a moment. freezing in here this morning right so I managed to release the bumper you can't really pull the splash guard back enough and I don't want to fully remove the splash guard because you've got rivets down here so even though you can access underneath there there is a bolt that goes right up there that I can't really show you but now I've managed to release the bolt here oh, I don't know if you're gonna see that on camera so the bolt holes here but behind this block, up in there, which you couldn't see, is another bolt right at the back, which goes right around there, around that block. <laughs> so after looking for ages, I managed to find it and get it down. So now we know what we're doing on the other side. We can get that done. <laughs> but that was a pain. It looks like a scratch going through this as well. Uh, this is actually my landlord's car, um, my landlord's daughter's car. She she hasn't had much luck with her driving by the look of it. But yeah, we're all fully released there. I know what I'm doing on the other side now. Uh, let's crack on, get the rest of that out. Well, that was a pain. Loads of wires now, there. there. Few ran outside, master plug ran outside, another wired hour. Um, for the first time I've ever done one, it weren't terrible, um, to be fair. But this is BMW for you. Talk about over engineered. All of them bolts for a front bumper is unbelievable. Connect van I've done the other day, two bolts, just two, and about 12 push clips. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> versus uh, about 50 bolts <laughs> but now I know what I'm doing it's not terrible um, we can get this bumper all stripped out now you know all the damaged stuff off um, then we can have a little look at the repair area what we've got to fix in here it's nothing drastic but obviously it's a brand new car they want it put right um, yeah I'll probably do a little local 
uh, smart repair blow in on that bit uh, rest of it's all okay uh, I haven't charged to repaint the whole lot so we'll just repair the area it needs repairing get a little blend put it back together put it on the car and it should be uh, looking good again so yeah let's get my mat on here turn this round start stripping all this bumper off there's still loads of components to come off of this let's crack on right that didn't pack that very well the other gopro that i use to film spraying and on my head um the memory card corrupted on me i couldn't get the files off of it i couldn't download it so i've got no footage of painting but it's stripped and painted as you can see um all that blowing around there is all done and sorted looking nice now what we're going to do unmask all that get that all put back together and get it on the car um there's the other pieces there we had to wait for another part it's the next morning now we couldn't just waiting for bmw to deliver that we've got four parts we didn't use and a couple of parts that we did need uh, excuse the mess i've got two everywhere we've got a new compressor in now air dryer over there wheel booth over there uh, MSRT rear bumper, split it out, set of 20 inch rims and we've got a van outside and we're doing a van build very soon <laughs> but just haven't got time at the moment but uh, yeah I'm gathering parts but that'll be another video we'll film that uh, unfortunately yeah no footage of painting that I can't unpaint it and repaint it for making a video so we've just got to crack on and get this one all sorted so um I brought my other memory card in, which I know is good. Uh, it's such a bugger when you lose footage, because uh, I had footage of dismantling it all, painting it, clear coating it, everything, and it decided yeah, it didn't want to play ball. So, we just make do with what we got. Let's get this sorted, and see you in a bit.
all back together. Polished all my blending down there, perfect. Uh, just got to denib that side. Uh, give it a little buff up. Uh, one slight problem, very, very big problem. And this is what they won't show you on YouTube. <laughs> I blended up here because this had a bit of um, something going on there and I could see the blend. When you stand here, you can't really see the blend or you can a little tinty bit. But when you come to the side, I can see the blend. So, there's no way I'm stripping all that back off. I'm gonna mask everything up and I'm gonna redo the top bit. Got to get it done lively. So, uh, unfortunately, things go wrong and uh, that's the kind of thing that happens i must have got well i can see it i've got a bit of base coat too far up near the clear coat so my little blend that i've planned out didn't go in very well i should have just done the whole blooming lot but such is life one of them that's all mint that's all sweet that's all sweet just gonna do the top so i'm gonna get masking and start prepping that and yeah you will see some paint in this video let's go Do this cowboy style. Probably get a cleaner job out here than I did in my boots. <laughs> flash off back in a bit right I said five minutes let's get the next one on
clamped off. See you in a bit. There we go. She's all baked off. I've just got to let it cool down. There's a few nibs in it, as to be expected, but it didn't come out that bad. I'm going to let that cool down, and then we'll uh, flat and polish that. And I can denib that corner, polish that, and then we can kick it out. So, uh, yeah, see you in a bit. paint around that side typical bumper color even well I didn't put paint didn't put color around that side either so still off nothing to do with us our paints in the middle there yeah I think they're gonna be happy go away with that Whew, that was a pain didn't really want to do the do that but when things go wrong you've got our uh, Put it right, basically, and that's uh, that's what you don't see all the time on YouTube. Because things go wrong in the real world. <laughs> that is for sure. Uh, oh. Right, I um, yeah, I think I might be starting on my van tomorrow or the next day. I might do a little video, show you all of that, show you what we're doing, uh, go through that. Going to do a little van build series of setting up a smart repair van. So uh, that'll be interesting for you guys to see. Um, yeah, that's it from me today, as always. Massive thanks for watching, and um, we'll see you very soon in the next one. Stay safe and be lucky.